We'll go back, so-called neobanks, these are financial institutions that serve their customers exclusively online, are becoming a bigger part of Canada's financial services landscape. A recent report from the Canadian Banking Association revealed that over 70% of Canadians do most of their banking digitally. Our next guest believes this is a global trend that is here to stay. We're joined now by Andrew Moore, President and CEO at EQ Bank, one of the leading so-called NEOs in Canada. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me, Paul. You are an all-digital bank, have been for some time. Uh, are, how, how mature is this trend? Is there more gro growth to come here, or are we t are now topping out? I think we may be at a turning point, actually. I think, I think the acceptance of this model broadly by Canadians is, is just starting. If I sort of compare our banks, I think we're probably the most established of these digital uh, challenges. And we've been at it since 2014. Today we have about 450,000 customers and 9 billion in deposits. I compare that to banks that I observe and admire in the UK, say Starling Bank with 2.6 million customers, Monzo with close to 9 million customers, and banks like New Bank in Brazil that started after us and now have got 100 million customers. So I think in Canada we're a little bit behind the curve and I, I'm, only, I'm only optimistic about my business going forward. Uh, how fragmented a business is in in, uh, in, uh, in Canada? How many players are there? Well, there aren't many. And is that a risk to, the, to players like you? I don't think so. I think, you know, frankly, it's hard to become a bank. You know, we've you know, got CDIC insurance. We've got big capital needs. Uh, the technical stack is hard to build. So we don't really feel like there's going to be a lot of emerging competitors in Canada. That's not the kind of direction of travel. In some other countries I go to, there are many, many smaller banks, some of which don't succeed. Uh, here in Canada, we really feel like we've got a sort of dominant, well, a strong position to, to bring value to Canadians that isn't there from the more traditional banks. And how do you compete against the more traditional banks, many of which have their own digital offerings? Yeah, we just, we're radically different. We're just thinking about what do Canadians need in a digital world, frankly. So if you want interest on the money sitting in your checking account, come to EQ. If mm -hmm. you don't want to pay fees, come to EQ. Mm -hmm. If you want great rates on, on foreign exchange, come to EQ. And if you want some innovative accounts, like our notice saving accounts, where it's money you might not need tomorrow, but maybe you need it in a month's time. Mm -hmm. We'll offer you a higher interest rate if you're prepared to give us some notice on when you need your money. So we can think about bringing innovation to the market in a way that's probably harder for the bigger banks to, to do. They're, they're larger, they're more established, harder to change. Mm -hmm. And with our flexible technology infrastructure, we can really you know, bring value to our customers in, in a quicker and, and more beneficial way, we think. What about service? What about when you need to speak to somebody about a situation that you think is neat? Here's a for instance. I have a relative in the United States who owes me a, several thousand dollars, and right. all he's got is a U.S. personal banking account. So I need to know from my bank, if I get a personal check written on a bank in Hawaii, right. can you cash it? Uh, can I get that? Can I ask that kind of service of EQ? You can certainly ask that service very quickly. Right. I mean, we, we know that one of the things that is a concern for customers is that they can't walk into a bank branch and get service. Right. So we really try and pick up the phone really, really quickly to answer that kind of question. Mm -hmm. What we would recommend for that kind of solution actually is to use Wise Israel. So we're integrated with Wise with international foreign exchange transfer mm -hmm. uh, arrangement. And you're, 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 the person owing you the money could easily log on and frankly get the money quicker than sending a check in the mail. Okay, uh, what kind of growth uh, do you see in, you, in your operation uh, as, as we move forward? Uh, well, we're certainly seeing you know, easily double-digit growth, 30 40% growth rates in the, in the customers. We're adding about, uh, about four to 400 customers a day roughly signing up. Uh, we, you may have seen us doing some advertising using Dan and Eugene Levy as our yes. spokespeople earlier yes. this year. And that was uh, probably a, an investment we should have made earlier to kind of get awareness amongst Canadians. And we're really seeing it resonating and people are signing up for more accounts. So we're excited about kind of where we go from here, frankly. That's, that has worked, has it? The, Le the Levy father and son campaign? I think, well, I think they're iconic Canadian actors. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the, the point of that advertisement though was that many, many Canadians still have a bank account where their parents banked. And they haven't right. really thought about shopping around for banking services. Mm -hmm. And in, in, in the skit that we had there, uh, Eugene is kind of apologizing to Dan for leading his uh, his son into the bank and how much he had to pay in extra fees and interest that was for, foregone. Right. And sort of making the, and we're really just asking Canadians to, to think about it. When you're thinking about bagging services, survey the landscape, think about EQ, and, and does it work for you? We're not saying necessarily works for everybody, mm -hmm. but it can work for the vast majority of people. Do, do, do your customers tend to uh, bank exclusively with EQ, or do they have a relationship with an old guard Canadian, a conventional <laughs> Canadian bank as well? Yeah, I like the term old guard. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, I would say that mo most people are, are banking uh, with, with other banks as well. We're not trying to be everything to everybody, so there may be niche products at other banks. We can recognize other banks provide you know, as well as us or better than us. What we re really want to be good at is some things we really, really want to be good at. So mm -hmm. I would say our everyday bank account 
stands like up against any offering in the country. Mm -hmm. Our ability to move money around the world is for the same reason. Why, why so? Well, we offer interest on the money sitting in the account, mm -hmm. and effectively what's a checking account, and we don't charge any fees, and we've got all the payment functionality that you need in our digital banking world, mm -hmm. interact e-transfers, moving money through EFTs, and moving money on wise uh, around the world, you know, really cheaply. I mean, our foreign exchange service is really fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think for most people that, that serves their need. You've mentioned WISE a couple of times. Uh, spell it for us. Uh, w I S E. So it's a right. large fintech uh, out yeah. of the UK that has been a long-term partner of ours. Mm -hmm. um, and and we, like, we do think that not everything can be sort of invented within our bank. Mm -hmm. So we're certainly a much more open structure than the larger institutions around grabbing great ideas from around the world and then, and then sort of working with those companies to bring that value to Canadians. And that allows uh, clients to move uh, amounts of money uh, uh, in the way that we email money to each other within Canada? That, that's right. No. And in fact, uh, faster. <laughs> we can actually get money to India faster than we can get money to Vancouver. <laughs>